of Pueblo Chemical Depot is nearing completion. The years long process of destroying hundreds of thousands of chemical weapons is 99% complete. It should wrap up by the end of the month. Bill Folsom got a rare look inside the depot as the important work comes to an end. Remnants of chemical warfare. Uh, so mustard agent was first introduced in World War I. It was the first chemical weapons used in warfare um, and it killed hundreds of thousands of soldiers. Decades later, Pueblo Chemical Depot is essential to fulfilling promises made at the Chemical Weapons Convention in the 1990s. The promise is to rid the world of chemical weapons. It's directly contributing to that vision and to the pursuit of a safer and more secure world. Yeah, world history is happening right now. One by one, crews at Pueblo Chemical Depot destroyed tens of thousands of chemical weapons. They're down to the final mortars filled with mustard agent. This is really about great, courageous men and women who are directly on the front lines dealing with chemical agent, explosives, high hazards. Each mortar is carefully sent through a system of highly trained workers working with specially developed automated systems. We'll reconfigure that munition. And what you try to do is you, you, you reverse assemble it. First is diffusing the explosive. And from 2016 till now has been working to safely destroy that 780,000 chemical munitions. Next is removal of the mustard agent. The mortar is flushed with water at a force of 800 pounds per square inch. Any contact in the removal area requires workers wear completely sealed protective suits supported by outside ventilation. Their body's vital signs are remotely monitored as they work. Figure out how to thread a bolt um, onto a piece of machinery with four layers of gloves. I mean, it's just amazing what the workers have done uh, to keep the plant running very efficiently to support the mission. The agent is then diluted and neutralized through biotreatment. The end result is a salt-like substance. This is, this is how we serve our country, uh, by getting rid of these dangerous aging chemical weapons. And it's a, it's a lot of pride uh, for our workforce. Soon, a model like this will only be a reminder of a job well done. That also means the end of a job. At the end of the month, the last chemical weapons in Pueblo will be destroyed. In Pueblo, Bill Folsom, News 5.